A little while back, I made a video on five tools that would get you started into Luthery. And that video got a very good response and uh, some of the comments were uh, people curious about what would be my top five for uh, more experienced builders. So in this video, I'm going to break down five tools that can bring your Luthery skills to the next level. Now the first tool that can help you bring your literary skill to the next level is a good set of fret files. Now there's cheap ones and there's ones that are more expensive. Now here I'm talking at the more expensive side of things because they are very sharp and they can recrown that fret uh, after you level your whole fretboard to a nice crown in no time. Now those fret files come in, in three sizes. Uh, you have two sides on them and uh, one side is coarse and the other side is fine uh, which uh, brings you right to the point that you just need to polish them. So a good set of fret files is a must to uh, get those nice looking frets. Now the second tool that can help you bring your literary skill to the next level is a grammar. So what is a grammar? Now, a grammar like this one, and I just made this one especially to bring up my own game in my Luthery, uh, is uh, a fixture that holds a blade and that there's adjustment both sides uh, to bring the cutter up and down and to bring it sideways. And that rides on the edge of the instrument, cutting through the fibers of the softwoods or of, of the hardwood to create a perfect line to where you need to come back after with a router and or chisels. Uh, so in the old days they were using chisels and now uh, we can use the router but what that does it cuts through the fibers like I just said and by doing so when you go with your router or with your chisel you won't have all those chip outs uh, that can happen. It leaves a, leaves a very crisp line around the edge of your instrument where you can apply your binding and that's going to up your game visually on your instruments. Now the third tool I think that can help you bring your literary skills to the next level is a good set of nut files. Now those nut files have different size and they have the proper shape to create the cradle to the proper string size or string gauge uh, when you put your uh, adjustment on your nut or on your saddle depending. So good set of nut files like those ones are from Japan and uh, they're like on the higher price range as well and that's to be expected when you're trying to bring your literary skills to the next level. Those three files are going to help you cut really quickly into the nut and saddle materials leaving a, a properly uh, crowned uh, bottom or rounded bottom compared to a, a triangular file that some people might be using at the moment. So a good set of double edge nut files is a, a very good investment. Now the fourth tool that I think can help you bring your literary skills to the next level is a drum sander. Now uh, a drum sander can be very expensive but if you're, you're new to the literary game uh, you, you're using woods that are pretty plain, they don't have too much figure but when you get to a point that your woods have a figure like a quilt where all the wood fibers are moving either like every which way or even like a nice curly board like this one. Now to thickness those you need like a scraper plane or a scraper, a card scraper or going at it with sandpaper and it can take forever. Now a drum sander will make a breeze of taking those pieces of wood and thickness them to the right thickness for you to work on them after like getting them ready for bending which is the same with the backs the backs would be full width and then you can get an even surface the whole way across so the drum sander is a big investment but that's going to first save you time in the shop and that's going to remove all the headaches of trying to thickness pieces of wood with that much figure now the fifth tool that i think can help you bring your literary skills to the next level is a fret and dressing file. Now this file is pretty interesting because this allows you to go around the end of your frets to create, to remove like that sharp edge that you would feel going up and down the fretboard. It has a flat side and it has a rounded side as well so you can use that to uh, prevent 
marking on your fretboard or your binding, which a triangular file might end up doing if, if that's what you're using. So by using one of those, it makes it a lot easier to achieve a great job very quickly without leaving any marks. So this will certainly help you uh, bring your literary skills to the next level. Uh, side note here, I also use this file to clean the, the frets when I actually have to bring the frets over the binding. Uh, we need to remove the tang there and this makes a breeze of the job. So definitely have a look at those now the bonus tool I would like to share with you guys is not really a tool but rather a relationship you can have with your uh, wood supplier. Now uh, it's very important to find a wood supplier that you can trust and that stand behind their product. Now having good quality woods before you start building your instrument is the foundation of building a good quality instrument. So if you're lacking uh, this piece at the very early stage of your build uh, this could impact greatly uh, the result of your instrument. Now I know there's a lot of wood suppliers that can be trusted out there but I would like to share with you uh, my wood supplier which I think have uh, a very nice selection and do stand behind their customers and their woods. So check out Bow River Wood to Works. Uh, it's going to be a link in the description. So those were the five tools that I think can help you bring your literary skills to the next level. I would like to hear about yours, so leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, what tools you think uh, could be added to this list. Uh, it's, in my case, it's mostly all uh, tools that help in the finishing stage and that plays an important role when it comes to playability and when it comes to uh, the finishing look of your instrument. So once again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time and until next time, I wish you well.